Hey everybody, Cruise Man here again. Uh, yesterday I put out a video on YouTube talking about how to save your current destination or your current location uh, on the 2018 Goldwing, how to save that as a favorite on the GPS. And just since yesterday, a couple of uh, YouTube followers have sent me some additional information uh, where I was able to actually figure out how to do some of the things I couldn't figure out how to do uh, in the previous video. So basically that video is kind of outdated. I'm going to show you uh, some other techniques and some additional information on how you can save uh, your current destination as a favorite and how you can rename that favorite to a more usable, recognizable name. Now, this video is going to assume that you are at the location that you want to save as a favorite. You can also use this same technique uh, to save a destination as a new home destination if you've already set your home destination on the Goldwing. So anyway, let's get rolling. I'll show you how we do this. During this demonstration, we're going to utilize four different ways to interact with the jog dial on the console. You can rotate the jog dial to the right. You can rotate it to the left. You can click on it one time. And you can also click and hold the button down for three seconds. You can also nudge the jog dial in any direction. Okay, so here's our map and we're going to, we want to save a favorite. If we hit the enter key on the joystick right now at this moment, what's going to happen is it's simply going to pull up the menu down at the bottom and from here, you know, we can invoke the go home, the menu, the navy volume, POI on, which doesn't really work, but uh, or doesn't work the way you would expect it to, and then the menu. Now, the map currently is showing the location where the bike is. You would think there would be an easy way to have it, uh, save it as a favorite or as your home destination, but it's not that clear as to how you do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to nudge this joystick. The joystick moves in multiple directions. I'm just going to nudge it up just enough. Well, actually I actually have to go back. First, you can't have this menu visible when you do this. So if you hit the back button, the return button, so that you're just back at the map screen. Now if you nudge the joystick, you see you get the little cursor, the little blue cursor on the screen and you can move that cursor around any way you want. Once you have that blue cursor on the screen, you can now hit the enter button and it pulls up a different screen. And you can see here, we can now save our current location as a favorite. Now when we do that, I'm just gonna save it as a favorite. It's going to save what it interprets to be the address of wherever that cursor is at the moment. You'll also notice you can now set your home destination. So if you want to know how to replace your current home destination with a new home destination, that's how you would do it. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to hit the back button. And another thing you can do before you set this as a favorite, you can see that the way the map is right now, the scale is 2.5 miles. Well, it might be easier if you zoom in uh, so that you can see a little more granularity. So by turning the jog dial to the right, you can see my scale is changing over here. 0.6 miles, 0.2 miles. I mean, I can get down pretty close to, you know, like within 60 feet. Okay, now I can move my, nudge my jog dial to exactly where I want my address, not exactly because it doesn't actually show you the address on the screen. It would be nice that somewhere down here in, on this screen, if it would actually show you the address or the coordinates of where this cursor is, but it doesn't. So let's say I want to say this is my, let's just assume this is my home address and I, or any address that I want to save as a favorite. Now I press the enter button and I can save it as a favorite, or I can set it to home, I can do whatever I want. Okay, let's save it as a favorite. And let's say that that's actually a restaurant. 
uh, that I want to go back to. Let's just, just for the sake of argument, let's say this is a, my favorite Thai restaurant. Okay, let's go back. How do we, at this point, change the name of that favorite? Because if we go to our menu, oops, let me go back. Let me go back. You have to get rid of the cursor. Once you get rid of the cursor, you can now hit the enter button and bring up the menu. Now, if you can set the menu, you get what you normally would expect to see. Destination input. Let's click this. And now if we hit favorite, you can see the one I just created down here is Rice Lane, Texas, and it's like trying to say Carrollton. Well, that description doesn't really tell me anything. It doesn't tell me uh, the name of the restaurant or the name of the business. Now, here's one I've already set the name of. And if you want to change the name of this, you have to hold down the enter key. When you hold down the enter key, it brings up another screen. You have to press and hold the enter key. You can't just press the enter key. If you just press the enter key, it's going to want to take you to that destination. But if you press and hold the enter key, now you can rename it. And when you click rename, now I can change this name. I'm going to delete. Just go here. There's not a clear function. I don't know why they don't have it where you can just clear the whole thing. But they don't. So I'm going to delete all of these. If there is a clear function, I haven't figured out how to do it. Maybe there is. Like everything else, maybe there's some way to do it, and I just haven't figured it out. Okay, and I'm going to call this Chili Thai. Uh, unfortunately, it will not allow you to do a space. As you can see down below, spaces are disabled as are uh, certain other characters. So I'm just going to make it all one word. So apparently favorites can't have spaces. Okay. Okay, now let's go back. Now you can see here's my favorites. Einstein's, which is the place I have coffee every morning. Chili Thai. And then this is one we did earlier. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So if I press and hold, I can delete it. Yes. Okay, now, if I just press the enter key for Chili Thai, it's going to offer me the option to go to that destination. And then when you hit go, it will calculate the route, and then it will take you to that destination. So that's how you deal with favorites or how you change your home destination. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked this video and you found it valuable, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you can click on the little bell icon, and that will notify you anytime I post new videos. Pretty cool feature. So feel free to share this video on your blogs or on your Facebook page or your YouTube channel, wherever you like. The more exposure, the better. And I appreciate all of you for subscribing and watching the video. And this is Cruise Man signing out for now.